Okay, the next step is to attach our beams to our posts. If your pergola kit came with these beam attachment brackets, that's not the right video for you. You wanna hit your browser's back button. This method that we're gonna do here is the traditional method where we screw holes through our beams and use fasteners through those holes into the posts. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is double check the measurement of our post base outside to outside. So we grab our tape measure. Yep. And here we are at, right at 96 inches. That's great, this is a 10 foot pergola kit. So that means that our beams are 10 foot, our posts are at eight foot, and that will give us exactly one foot of cantilever past this post part right here. Now if your pergola or your layout has changed where you needed to scoot your post in or scoot your post out and you're left with a different measurement on your cantilever, that's just fine. Just drill your beams according to that measurement. It's still, it'll still look really nice. So once we have that measurement, we can use our handy dandy hole jig. And this is a, a slick little tool because it matches the same size as the post top, okay? So we know if we want one foot sticking over here, that we can come down here to our beam, lay this out right where we want our holes, should match up right at one foot. If your pergola kit has a five inch post option or a 10 inch round column option, this piece won't work just like that. You're gonna wanna measure from the center of your post mount up here and make a little mark on the center of your jig and just do all your measurements by center. But since we have the seven inch column option, we're gonna use this tool. Let's come over here where we don't have any holes yet. And again, we know we want one foot of cantilever. So we measure out one foot, set our jig right there at 12 inches. And grab, grab this kind of tight. And we make a mark right in the center of each one of those holes. Now I like to lay out all my beams together here in a row. There's gonna be four of them uh, before I drill. And, and I'd go ahead and I would mark every single beam. For the sake of time, we're gonna skip that and get right to drilling. So once we have the beam marked, we wanna make sure our aluminum is inside, all the way inside. We can take our 5 8 bit, and make a little hole okay that hole should leave us a nice mark in the aluminum we grab our WD-40. And here we're gonna use a step bit. It makes a really nice wide hole. And we're gonna drill right through that aluminum. Makes a bit of a mess, so it's nice to have a rag in your pocket for this step. Okay. So these, when we slide it back in, should just leave us a nice little hole right through the top of the aluminum. Sometimes you have to kind of deburr the hole here in the vinyl. I'll just kind of stick my 5 8 bit back in there and clean out those holes. The really slick part of this kit is we've got these plugs that when we're all done, we're gonna come in here and cover up those holes, make them look real nice. So once your beam is drilled on both sides, as this one is, you can go ahead and get your helper for this step. You wanna get your ladders all set up ahead of time, but your beam can go up on your post.
And we're gonna wanna double check our overhangs, okay. Gonna go just a touch this way. Okay, one thing I did actually forgot to mention was, before you put up your beam, it's really handy to take a minute with your tape measure and your pencil and lay out the spacing of the rafters on top of the beam. That should all be listed in your CAD drawing and you can just make sure that that's all written down ahead of time because after we're done with this step, you're gonna have to be up on a ladder to be doing that again. So it's really handy to do it while you're still on sawhorses. So assuming your rafters are all marked out, you've got your beam up on your posts, you're ready to go. You wanna find your fastener bag, beam to post. It's a stainless steel screw, 3 8 inch hex head, and we use a little, these extensions, six inch extensions. Take that up there. Great. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, when I was screwing that in, this beam always kind of wants to kind of come back out once you go through the end of it. Um, just keep pushing and, and once it sucks down tight, it'll, it'll uh, fix all that stuff. So you don't want it to, to um, come out and then stop because it's real hard to get it lined back up again. So I just push right on through it. And you do that same step for all four of these holes. Same again for that side. And when you're done, I always keep these plugs in my pocket. Just come in here, plug those holes, and away you go. So you'll repeat that step for the back side of this beam. And if you have a freestanding pergola, there'll be another beam on the other side. If it's attached pergola, you're all done with attaching your beams.